Last night, Health Canada announced that it has authorized the first serological test for COVID-19 antibodies. A new test for COVID-19 antibodies has been approved for use in Canadian labs. Canada's chief public health officer says it'll be used as part of a cross-Canada survey, and the information gathered could help determine who's already had COVID-19 and recovered, and if they'll be immune to it in the future. From a... Um you know, population level, um, these tests will be used in conjunction with the PCR tests to look at how they can be incorporated then into a uh, wider testing strategy. But right now, uh, under the collaboration uh, of the uh, Immunity Task Force, uh, our priority is focusing on the uh, Population survey. Chief Public Health Officer Dr. Teresa Tam says Italian company Diasorin's liaison tests will be used over the course of two years to collect over a million Canadian blood samples. Epidemiologists say everyone who's caught COVID produces antibodies to fight the virus, but it's not clear if those antibodies give immunity and if they do, how long that immunity could last. It's critical if we're going to start allowing recovered people back into the population without public health measures to protect, prevent them from infecting others or maybe getting reinfected themselves. Dr. Raywat Dionandin estimates a vaccine for COVID-19 is probably around two years away. He says the new blood tests won't bring us any closer to that vaccine, but the data gathered from this kind of large-scale blood testing could allow Canada to better manage infections. If we know that their antibody load is making them immune to further infection, that opens up a host of opportunities for how to open up the economy. And if we know how long that immunity lasts, that's even better. So in absence of a vaccine, this is probably our, our short-term best bet to understanding how we can use previous infection to, to quell the burden of infection in our population. Now, epidemiologists we talked to were cautious in their optimism, saying serological tests can give false positives and that any data collected will need to be followed up on and verified. And moreover, it's not clear how these tests could be used on an individual level rather than as part of a population-wide study. In Ottawa, Shao Li Lee, City News.